Welcome to our video about the top 6 misconceptions about theistic Satanism. Theistic Satanism is a highly misunderstood religion, with many misconceptions and stereotypes surrounding it. Often portrayed negatively in the media and popular culture, it can be difficult for those unfamiliar with the religion to separate fact from fiction. In this video, we will be debunking some of the most common misconceptions about theistic Satanism and shedding light on what this religion is really about. Whether you are a curious onlooker or a current practitioner, this video will provide you with valuable insights and understanding about theistic Satanism. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the truth behind the myths. Number 1, and the most common misconception. Theistic Satanism is a harmful practice. One of the biggest misconceptions about theistic Satanism is that it is associated with evil and harmful practices. This idea has been perpetuated in popular culture and media, where Satan is often depicted as a symbol of evil and destruction. However, this could not be further from the truth. Theistic Satanism is a religion that celebrates individualism, enlightenment, and personal freedom. It does not condone or promote violence, harm, or legal activities in any way. In fact, many theistic Satanists practice ethical and moral codes that emphasize respect for oneself and others, as well as a deep reverence for the natural world. Unfortunately, this misconception has led to the demonization and persecution of theistic Satanists, who are often misunderstood and misrepresented by mainstream society. It is important to recognize that theistic Satanism is a legitimate religion that deserves the same respect and recognition as any other faith tradition. Number 2. Theistic Satanists are always members of a cult. The notion that theistic Satanists are all members of a cult is another common misconception about this religion. It is true that there are some individuals who practice theistic Satanism within a cult-like setting, but this is not representative of the entire community. In fact, many theistic Satanists practice on their own or in small groups with like-minded individuals. They may follow a particular tradition or pantheon, but they do not necessarily adhere to any specific organizational structure or hierarchy. It is important to recognize that cults are defined by certain characteristics, such as a charismatic leader, manipulative and controlling tactics, and an emphasis on isolation and secrecy. Theistic Satanism, as a whole, does not fit these criteria. It is also worth noting that the term cult is often used pejoratively to label any religious or spiritual group that deviates from mainstream beliefs or practices. This can lead to unfair and harmful assumptions about theistic Satanists and their practices. Ultimately, it is crucial to approach any religious or spiritual group with an open mind and a willingness to learn about their beliefs and practices before making assumptions or judgments based on stereotypes or misinformation. Number 3. Theistic Satanism is an organized religion. Another common misconception about theistic Satanism is that it is a unified and organized religion. This couldn't be further from the truth. Theistic Satanism is an umbrella term that encompasses a wide variety of beliefs and practices, and there is no single governing body or authority that dictates how it should be practiced. Theistic Satanists come from diverse backgrounds, hold different beliefs about Satan, and practice in different ways. Some may engage in ritual magic, while others may focus on personal meditation and reflection. While there may be some organized groups of theistic Satanists, such as the Temple of Set or the Order of the Black Sun, these are not representative of theistic Satanism as a whole. Theistic Satanism is a highly individualistic and personal spiritual path, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach to practicing it. It's important to remember that just because theistic Satanism is not organized like some other religions, it does not mean that it is any less valid or meaningful to those who practice it. In fact, the lack of hierarchy and structure allows for a greater level of personal exploration and growth. Number 4. Theistic Satanism is fake or made up. One of the most pervasive misconceptions about theistic Satanism is that it is a fake or made up religion. This is often fueled by the fact that theistic Satanism is not a mainstream or widely recognized religion, and its beliefs and practices may differ from those of more well-known religions. However, this does not mean that theistic Satanism is not a legitimate religion. In fact, theistic Satanism has a long and rich history, with roots that can be traced back to ancient cultures and religions. Many of the beliefs and practices of theistic Satanism have been passed down through the ages and have evolved over time. It is important to recognize that just because a religion is not widely known or recognized does not make it any less valid or real. Furthermore, theistic Satanists are not simply making up their beliefs and practices on a whim. They have the deep and personal connection to their beliefs and often have spent years studying and practicing their religion. 
Monotheistic Satanism is a highly personal and individualistic religion, and each practitioner may have their own unique interpretation and understanding of the beliefs and practices. In conclusion, theistic Satanism is not a fake or made-up religion. It is a legitimate and valid religion that has been practiced by many individuals throughout history. While its beliefs and practices may differ from those of more well-known religions, this does not diminish its importance or legitimacy. Number 5. Theistic Satanists are always devil worshippers. One of the most common misconceptions about theistic Satanism is that all practitioners are devil worshippers. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. While it's true that theistic Satanists do believe in the existence of Satan, their beliefs and practices are far more complex than simple worship. In fact, many theistic Satanists do not see Satan as an evil being at all, but as a deity of individualism, rebellion, and personal empowerment. They view Satan as a guide or teacher who can help them achieve their full potential as individuals. They may also work with other deities or spirits in their practice, depending on their beliefs and traditions. It's important to understand that theistic Satanism is a diverse and multifaceted religion, with many different traditions and practices. While some practitioners may indeed engage in devil worship or other forms of dark magic, this is by no means universal within the religion. It's important not to make assumptions or stereotypes about theistic Satanists based on limited information or preconceived notions. Number 6. Theistic Satanism is Reverse Christianity. One of the most common misconceptions about theistic Satanism is that it is simply a reversal of Christianity. Many people assume that theistic Satanists worship the Christian devil and obey invert Christian practices and beliefs. However, this is far from the truth. While some theistic Satanists may incorporate elements of Christian mythology into their practice, such as the concept of fallen angels or the devil as a figure of rebellion, theistic Satanism is a distinct religion with its own unique beliefs and practices. Theistic Satanists view Satan as a deity in their own right, separate from the Christian devil. They often draw from other mythologies and traditions as well, such as ancient Egyptian or Norse mythology. Furthermore, theistic Satanists do not simply invert Christian practices. They have their own rituals, holidays, and spiritual practices that are not based on Christianity. While some theistic Satanists may use Christian symbols or language as a form of rebellion or shock value, this is not representative of the entire religion. Theistic Satanism is not simply a reverse form of Christianity. It is a distinct and unique religion with its own beliefs and practices, and it is important to understand and respect this fact in order to dispel this common misconception. In conclusion, theistic Satanism is a widely misunderstood religion that is often subject to negative stereotypes and misconceptions. It is important to recognize that theistic Satanism is a diverse and complex belief system that cannot be reduced to a simplistic caricature. By debunking these misconceptions, we can begin to better understand and appreciate the rich cultural and spiritual heritage of theistic Satanism. It is important to approach these topics with an open mind and a willingness to learn, rather than relying on preconceived notions and assumptions. With greater understanding and empathy, we can foster a more inclusive and tolerant society that celebrates the diversity of religious beliefs and practices.